Hi everyone, I'm Allie with the Potomac Bee Company and I'm going to show you today how to do this version of a spiral here. And this spiral, it's a version of the helix or the Russian spiral. And it's a tubular spiral that I'm going to be using bugles with. So it's a very simple spiral to do and it has a nice open and a fairly thick look to it when it's on your wrist. For this example here, it's six millimeter bugle, be bugle beads and 11 O seed beads. The example here has multiple colors of the bugles as well as multiple colors of the seed beads. There's three of each, three colors of bugles and three of seed beads. To simplify it for the video, I'm gonna show you with one color of my bugles and one color of my seed bead. My bugles that I'm using are an opaque mauve and then I'm using a maroon AB matte finish in my 11 O's. In addition to my beads, I have a size 10 English beading needle and .006 wildfire beading thread. I've used my thread zap to cut that thread from the rest of the spool. I'm also going to be using a marker. So this is just a Crayola marker, um, a regular old thin marker. That's going to be used to get kind of my diameter and to hold my item in place. You can also use a wooden dowel or a knitting needle in place as well. The other thing I have are some flat nose pliers just to flatten out the thread so that way I can put it easier into the needle. In addition to that, you'll need some sort of a clasp or a closure, and that can be one of your choosing, and we'll go over that at the very, very end of the video. Again, for this, I'm just going to be using one color of seed beads and one color of bugles to make it nice and simple and easy. So to get started, what I've done is I've added a stop bead. This is a bead that looks nothing like the other beads in my project, and I'm using a bead like that because I know that I'm gonna take it off the end. The only thing that I'm using it for is to actually stop my beads from falling off, hence the stop bead. If you need a little bit more definition or a little bit more help with the stop bead, um, you can check out our other videos that we have. But basically, the stop bead goes on next to the bottom of your thread, and you're going back through two times with the needle going from the tail towards the tip of the project back through. So you have two threads expo exposed on the side of your stop bead. After that, we're going to start our pattern. So this pattern for the spiral starts out with two seed beads, one bugle, two seed beads, one bugle, two, one. If you're doing this in multiple colors or you want to get multiple colors, you're going to start this out in color order that you want to have. So you do two of color A seed, color A bugle, color B seed, color B bugle, and so on. So, to start out, I'm putting these beads in this order onto my needle and thread, and I'm going to let them drop down next to my stop bead. So I'm letting that drop down the whole way next to the stop bead. Then with my needle and thread, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the beads back through the first two seed beads that I have on my thread. Those are the seed beads that are next to the stop bead. My thread is then going to go in the direction away from the tail, so my needle is going into the seed beads closest to the tail and coming out towards my first bugle. What that's going to do is that's going to round out the project so I have a little triangle. You want to make sure not to tie this um, because you do want it to be a little bit flexible and a little bit easier to use. After you have this here, what you're going to do is start your rotation and your pattern. To do that, I'm going to put on one of my bugles and then two of my seed beads. I'm letting those drop down next to my project here. And I'm going to sew through my first of my seed beads that's next in the line. So I came out of two seed beads, I added on a bugle and two other seed beads. And then I'm going to sew through the first seed bead in the row below it. Next I'm going to pick up another bugle, two seed beads. I'm going to go after the next bugle, sew through the first seed bead. Again on goes a bugle then two seed beads, and I'm back near the stop bead and you're just going to kind of push that out of the way, and I'm going to sew back through the first seed bead there as well. When you're done this first rotation, 
the beads are going to kind of sit off to the side like this, that they're going to look a little bit more like they're in a triangular shape rather than an actual tubular shape. As you proceed and get going, you'll notice that tubular shape actually starting to happen and take place. The first one's a little bit hard, but you want to make sure that you keep the last beads that you did and the last beads that you put on above the first row. So I kind of push those in place, pushing that stop bead down. The pattern continues the exact same then the whole way throughout the project, adding a bugle, then two seed beads, and then skipping to the first seed bead after the previous rose bugle. You go right along in the line. What's going to happen then is you're going to start to get that kind of stair step effect. Again, a bugle goes on, my two seed beads go on, I find the last row after the last bugle, and put it through that first seed bead in that row. Again, a seed bead bugle goes on, two seed beads, find the last one here, and put it through that rotation. Once you have three on, you can usually kind of see three rows here. You can usually see that spiral starting to happen and starting to take place. If you need to, here's where the end of the marker comes in handy. You can kind of beat around the end of a marker or the end of a dowel to keep it in place. Or if you need to, you can even use um, just a regular um, round nose pliers that you can go around with. And that's going to hold it in place. So again, I'll do a couple more rotations here with you. On goes a bugle, two 11 -0 seed beads, and then I'm going to the last bugle, the last row through the first seed bead, pulling tightly as I go around. Bugle, two seed beads, last seed bead kind of sticking up there, and pull tightly. And you're going to notice this pattern is going to start to create that nice spiral like our example. If you are doing a pattern, basically you'll know what to do because it's going to be laying right on top of the last bugle. So if I was doing a three color pattern and I'm doing my color, you can either choose to do three different colors of seed beads, three different colors of bugles, it's kind of your choice what you want it to look like. Um, what I would do for that is whatever color I'm coming out of here. I'm going to make sure to put the opposite color on. So I would put another another bugle on here, the same color that would be in my row that I'm adding on to. So I'd have three different colors. I'd put that same bugle on and then two seed beads that match the seed bead color that I'm sewing into. So these two would match that one that I'm sewing into. That's how you would do your pattern if you're going to do a pattern. I find it very easy to get started with this without doing multiple colors and multiple patterns. I find it easier to keep track of what you're doing. But some people you might like that comfort of the different colors to really show where you're going and to make sure that you're going in place and you're getting the right orders of bugles in line. You're just going to continue to sew the whole way around your helix here and you can show then and see that line forming of those nice bugles. You can do this with any size bugles. You can really do it with any size beads also. You just want to make sure your accent bead like your bugle bead or um, your cube bead is going to be bigger than your seed beads. So if you're not a fan that's crazy of 11 -0 seed beads, you may even want to try this with 8 -0 seed beads. It'll still look nice, just a little bulkier. And you're just continuing again, always grabbing onto the first seed bead after the bugle below. Continuing putting on your bugles, followed by two seed beads, and sewing right along the pattern. You do want to make sure to kind of pull nice and tight, so that way your pattern continues in line and you continue with that little stair step pattern that's going on.
When you get to putting a clasp on for anything that is tubular, you might want to check out some of our other videos that have tubular videos to it. But what we've done on this one is done a simple V coming out of the end of our project attaching to our clasp. So it gives a little V of a triangle there that's going to attach to the clasp and hold that all together. So I'll do a couple more passes here and then I will show you how to attach your clasp to a tubular project like this. So as you get a little bit further along in your project, you can really see that spiral staircase happening. When you use multicolors, the nice thing of it is you can kind of twist it around and it gives a fun look to it. It has a real slinky feel and a real kind of nice and soft feel to it. So don't think that yours is wrong if that it kind of squashes. The longer you get it and when you finish off the project, it'll keep it from doing kind of that slinky, slinky effect. So now that we have um, a couple more rows. I'm going to show you basically how to end one of these projects. So at this point I'm ready to go and I'm ready to put on my clasp. This one I'm going to use as a button. And what I'm going to do is put five seed beads, let's do six, I'll put six seed beads onto my needle and thread. I'm going to take my needle and thread and go through the back of the button and then what I'm going to do is come down that same set of six seed beads. So I'm coming down that same set of six seed beads. I'm going to pull nice and tight and that's going to get me that first part of my triangle that I'm going to attach to my clasp. I'm going to take my needle and thread and I'm going to sew back through my seed beads and my bugles here. So I'm sewing right back through my last seed beads as well as my bugles. And I'm going to come out on the other side here, right in between two of my seed beads. Again, I'm going to add six of my seed beads onto my needle. So six seed beads go onto the needle. I'm going to sew through my button and back down through those six beads that I just put on. So I'm basically repeating the same thing that I did. And that's going to pull the button nice and in the other direction. And pick up my thread and needle. Sew right along the last line again through the seed beads, through the bugle. Come out in between some of the seed beads. And I'm going to do my third piece of my little triangle. On goes six seed beads again onto my needle. Let those drop down next to my project. Sew through my clasp. And if you're doing a toggle, it would just be sewing through one of the ends of the loops. My thread's getting a little short here. Going back through the seed beads and back along my line. Pull nice and tight. And that's going to get me that triangular effect that's going to hold my project nicely. And when I'm putting it on, it holds it well that I can do a loop on the other end. And it's a good way to still be able to see that opening on any sort of spiral project without having to really worry a ton about closing it off or putting an end cap on. So it's easy to make this triangular fashion and have your clasp and your beads all look nice when they're coming out here with that triangle. So the same thing was done with this project on that triangle ends. On the other side, I would still do these triangles, but instead also incorporate a loop to go through my button. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and it gives you an idea for using some of your bugles, getting this little spiral step here to make a nice spiral bracelet or necklace. This is one of those projects that looks really nice as a necklace as well. I have a couple that I wear as a nice long necklace. If you are thinking, oh, I want to do this project, but I don't want to do the whole thing, you can also attach it to ribbon or to um, just seed beads or gemstones or anything to make the clasp in the back too. You could even add some fringe to the bottom as well to do some little variation on it. So again, it's just another kind of Russian helixy spiral, just doing that spiral staircase pattern and getting that nice hollow look to it. This is done with bugles of one color and seed beads of one color. This here you have um, a rotation of three different seed beads as well as three different bugles. 
if you get a chance, hopefully you get to make one. And you can switch it up and use different beads as well. Like I said, you could use cubes. You could use the th smaller bugles. And just make sure whatever you're using is going to be bigger than your seed bead that you're using. So your accent bead is always going to be bigger than your seed bead. Thanks a lot for watching. If you get a chance, check out the rest of our YouTube videos. We'd love for you to make some stuff, post some pictures on our Facebook page, and we'd love to see what you're doing. If you get a chance also, check us out on Facebook. Go to Potomac Beads or thebeadco.com and check us out there. If you go to potomacbeads.com, you can even look at all of our different locations for our stores that we have. And we'd love to see you in one of our physical locations buying materials to make our things on YouTube or even taking a class for a little bit more of that personalized attention. Thanks a lot for watching and have a great rest of your day.